So in our study, we described the first Tyrannosaur skeleton found with prey items preserved inside its stomach. Now this particular Tyrannosaur from Alberta is known as Gorgosaurus. We found that this fossil is a juvenile or teenage Gorgosaurus that had actually eaten two young and small bird-like dinosaurs called Chitty Pass. So the specimen was discovered in 2009 by Mr. Darren Tanke, a technician at the Royal Tyrrell Museum, and it was during the preparation of the specimen as it was being cleaned up that uh, Darren discovered small knuckle bones that were just poking through the rib cage of the Tyrannosaur. And those knuckle bones were definitely too small to belong to uh, the Tyrannosaur. So it was decided at that time that the specimen would be flipped over and prepared from the inside out. And it's at that time that uh, the bones of the small dinosaurs that were preserved in the stomach were discovered. This fossil gives us the first solid evidence that Tyrannosaurs drastically changed their diet as they grew from teenagers to adults. We now know from this specimen that the teenagers were hunting these young and small dinosaurs, whereas other evidence has shown us that the adults were hunting very large plant-eating dinosaurs that lived in herds. The best part of the project was probably the, just the thrill of the discovery itself, being the first people to lay eyes on the small dinosaurs that were swallowed by a Tyrannosaur over 75 million years ago and knowing it was the first time that the stomach content of a Tyrannosaur was discovered, that was probably the best part of the study. Ironically, the prey remains that were found within the stomach are the most complete fossils that we have for the species Chitty Pass. That's the small bird-like dinosaur. So the next project will actually be related to studying the biology of this species um, known mainly from stomach contents of this Tyrannosaur.